Hey everybody and welcome to part 7 of Core Fundamentals of Web Development. In this video we're going to take a look at being able to show and add our ad link form so that it's not always taking up space on the screen. And we're really going to reinforce some of the things that we've already done. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get a reference to uh, the DOM elements that we're that we're going to be working with and the two that we're going to work with are the add button and the cancel button so we want to the add button is basically going to trigger to open this panel and the cancel button will close it so let's come up here and I think the add button I probably should have spelled it differently uh, is BTN instead of BUTTN so I'm not very consistent there well, let's get a reference to it so add button and then the other one is the cancel button so we've got our two elements here now we can come in and add our event handler so add button dot add event handler and these are both going to be clicks and we can use our new es6 fat arrow syntax that we talked about in the previous video i'm just going to do a console log of add button clicked just to prove that this is wired up correctly and then the same thing for our cancel button all right so we've got both of our event handlers here they both got console logs in them to make sure they're working so let's start with our add button all right that works popping up over here and then cancel button will do the same thing but it's also resubmitting the form remember it's a submit button inside of a form so by default it's going to go ahead and submit that form so we want to call an event prevent default just like we did before and save that and let's click the cancel button one more time all right so that looks okay so cancel button and add button are both linked up correctly now let's go ahead and create a couple of functions one is going to be the show form panel and then one is going to be hide form panel and the way we're going to show and hide our form is by applying a class of hidden. So let's come into our global section of CSS right here and we're going to create this hidden class and basically what it's going to be is display of none. So let's see I'm going to come in and let's just get our panel here and in the in the element style I'm going to add a display of none just to show you guys what it does and it, it completely takes it out of the screen so if I look at this if I hover over it it takes up no space now we could do a visibility to invisible or invisibility to hidden and hidden will make it disappear as well but it still takes up space on the screen so we want to use this space to display our links and only take it up with our add link form if it's being shown. So instead of visibility, we're going to use the um, use the display none. All right, so we've got that. Now we just need to come in and be able to add and take away that class. So on our show form panel, we want to get our link panel, and this is going to be const add link panel. So we've got our add link panel and in here we want to add link panel and then get the class list. So class list is going to be all of the classes that are associated with this element. And then for our show we want to remove the class of hidden. So we'll type in hidden there. So let's, um, let's first start off with our add link panel hidden. So it should, be, should have two classes panel and hidden and see it disappears there and then the JavaScript just to show you guys what the class list is let's console log that so add link panel dot class list just so we can take a look at it and actually let's do that outside of the function so we can see it when we start and pop over to our console here and we should see that it basically looks more or less like an array and it's got the two elements. It's got the hit, the panel and the hidden. So those are all the classes that are associated with this element. Now when you get into elements that have lots of different classes, uh, this is going to get a little more complicated. For now we just got two and one depending on the scenario. So it's pretty simple. All right. So we're coming in and we're removing the class hidden. So if we save this and press our add button, it should pop up. Oh. 
except for one thing. We need to call our function. So show form panel. And let's try this one more time. And now we see it pop up. And now the same thing for the hide form panel. We want to get the add link panel class list. And then now we want to, instead of remove, we want to add the class of hidden. All right, so we should start off with nothing. We can pop it on by clicking add and then cancel. We'll make it disappear if, I forgot it again, if we actually call the function inside of the event handler for cancel. So let's go through and we'll, we'll open it up and then cancel, we'll close it. So that works exactly like we want. And I just wanted to mention, I've created a function for both of these things. Now I could have included this one line inside of the event handler, so it wouldn't take much to do that. The reason I, I created these as separate functions, one, this means I can reuse it from multiple different places. And we're actually going to call hide form panel when we do a submit. So let's come down to our submit and we want to hide the form, add form, or add link panel form. And now we can call hide that hide form panel that we uh, just created. So let's come in here. We are acting like we're submitting something. I'll just do dummy stuff here. So there it is, there it is, there it is. And submit. And notice that it went ahead and disappeared also. So this is kind of what we'd expect. Now the next thing we'd be looking for is when we click that submit button to go ahead and start displaying our links. So that's what our next video is gonna be on. This was a pretty quick one, but I think it reinforced some of the things we've already learned and it showed at least a new concept that I think will be really useful for you guys going forward. So that's gonna do it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.